Hey guys, so it's time to put the new iPhone SE up against uh, the iPhone 6S to see which one is the quicker uh, device here. So I was quite interested to see how the battery performance was as well with the new iPhone SE uh, edition here. So uh, we can see if there's been a improvement over the uh, the 5S which I don't think had the best battery life uh, so you can see this is definitely a iPhone 6S and we've got them both on 100% here starting off uh, we'll just turn off the Bluetooth on that one uh, both about the same kind of brightness as well so uh, we can just boot them both on here at the same time because people do like to see you know the boot up speed to see uh, which one comes on first so they're both uh, running the latest uh, iOS as well, iOS 9.3.1 uh, which I think is coming with some bug fixes to fix uh, some links or something that are broken in Safari you might have heard about it oh so the new iPhone SE is actually faster here booting up uh, only a little bit though you know uh, so you can have a look here at uh, the software we do have same one on both uh, we can just open up some apps here day to day and see how they compare because you know I think a lot of people might be wondering is it worthwhile to switch here to the uh, the little iPhone and so far they look about the same really I can't really see too much of a difference but can you absolutely identical I think they're both running the Apple A9 architecture obviously so you know that is quite good here can have a look at some third party apps very nice and fast here with the eBay uh, LinkedIn again I saw a little bit faster there on the left uh, again you know I think the left was a little bit faster there got some annoying things come up similar for that uh, let's try a game here So very similar here, maybe the success was quicker there, starting it up. <laughs> Literally identical, starting the uh, game here, which is very nice. Uh, we can just uh, have a look at some of the other ones as well, like the watch, you can see so maybe you know I think really the performance difference is marginal here in fact I don't really see too much of a difference maybe some other people can but I can't uh, we can just have a look at the speed of the uh, the Wi-Fi performance hopefully we can see that have we got speed test on here of the Wi-Fi I don't think we have actually so that is pretty unprepared so let's just get this on shouldn't take too long and while that's doing that we can see the the uh, IP here we are on the same infrastructure so we'll just start off with the SE here both run 100% in terms of the battery for those who are paying attention so you can see nice speeds here for the uh, download I think it is a big, busy time right now so I might not get the full 200 but I'm not complaining you know 100 is very decent So 
So what can the uh, success give us? Wow. So the success can give us much higher there. So maybe the, uh, well then again, you know, it's all the same chip, the Apple A9, isn't it? So quite strange how there is a difference there. But then again, you know, these things can go up and down. We'll just do the SC one more time, just for clarity and resolve. No, you can see it's still below the uh, success, which is very weird. Maybe something bottlenecking it, even though it's got the new A9, obviously. Uh, you can see the upload is also quite below the success interesting to know here we can just also have a look at the uh, the web browsing uh, performance so where is the web browser down here so let's start off at Google on both of them and we want to go to daily fail Whoa. Let's just zoom in a little bit. And let's go there. See which one loads first. Wow, identical again. So click on a link here. It does feel very squashed on the uh the the SE compared to the success but you can see there's very little difference I think here when it comes to the actual speed here of both of them and that is pretty good pinch to zoom you can see very nice here so I don't think there's going to be a massive uh, difference when it comes to the web browsing. Try one more. GSM. You see how hard it is to type here from this distance. That could be something else you might, you know, want to know about the SE. So you can see very similar here as well for the the uh, GSM Arena. So I don't think there's going to be a massive difference there, but I did see a difference obviously with the uh, the speed of the Wi-Fi, the raw speed. So that could be something you might want to bear in mind. Uh, we can just have a look here at some of the uh, multitasking here so let's go back to the camera I think they both have two gigs of RAM so let's go to something GTA both of them kept in memory And this one has gone the weird way. That's weird. Uh, Twitch. So you can see, you know, it's very uh, decent multitasking here. Uber. No differences whatsoever. One more. Uh, eBay exactly the same so the only real difference I see there then is in terms of the Wi-Fi speed uh, the raw speed uh, of the Wi-Fi but then again it doesn't make much difference when you're doing the actual web browsing uh, you know I might test it a little bit more to see if that is really an issue in terms of the battery life you can see they are star performers here they haven't even dropped 1% after all that uh, so you're gonna get some nice battery improvements I think on the SE 
uh, device so yeah just do a quick little video here hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one cheers